For this chance, you and me, girl, we've been down together. What can be yours, baby? It's whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I know she a down ass chick boy, and I know she a down ass chick boy, and I know she a down ass chick boy, and I know. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Chat with London. I am your host, London Brown, and your metamorphic surgery guide. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It has definitely been a long journey from one week to the next, and a lot has happened. And we don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to try and get through everything. So let me just give you a little bit of background on me. I own Exquisite Dollhouse, Texas. We are a luxury post-op recovery home located about 12 minutes from the border. Um, we service girls that have surgery metamorphic, Progresso, and Reynosa. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk you through the journey, um, give you some of the background and the questions that I answer for lots and lots and lots of women every day. Now, as the show grows, I'm gonna try and bring a little bit more structure to the show and try and make sure that I'm answering all of your questions and giving you what you're looking for in my content. So bear with me as I grow. There's growing pains and hiccups, okay? Um, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Last week, I gave you some of our well-known surgeries in Metamor or surgeons, excuse me, in Metamoris. Now, that's not to say that these are the only surgeons. There are tons and tons and tons of surgeons that operate in Metamoris. Trust me. The surgeons that I gave you were some of the more well-known or do most of the major surgeries. Uh, if you missed that, go ahead and check that last episode out. Make sure you like and subscribe because if you subscribe, when I release a new video, you will automatically be notified. It would also really, really help me out if you guys would share the videos to get the content out. Um, it will save so many women so much time. I want to make this this decision as easy for you as possible and kind of help, you know, guide you along the process. Uh, in any, any line, research is super, super, super important, but it can be very, very confusing in the groups because as I said before, there is a lot of drama in the groups, not really a lot of education. So you got to kind of weed through it. So that's kind of what I'm trying to help you do. Now, I have put together some segments to kind of help structure the show. So let me tell you about the segments and I'll tell you what's going to be um, involved in these segments. And hopefully these will be the same segments every show so you'll know what to look for. So the first segment that we're going to be looking at is going to be called Chatter Tuck. Creative, huh? I know. It's going to include any chatter, gossip, drama in the groups that's happening surrounding surgeries, recovery homes, coordinators, etc. Got it? Yeah. So chatter tuck is one. The next one is wasted. That's going to tell you anything about what you should wear um, during surgery or during surgery, before surgery, after surgery, and during your stay at your recovery home. Then we're going to be talking about best augmentation. <laughs> I love these. I, creative, I know. Uh, that's going to be any questions or feedbacks from the audience because a lot of this stuff I'm going to ask you, what do you want to know? Right? And then that's how I'm going to create the show's content. You tell me what you want to know and I'll create it from there. The next segment that we're going to be looking at is going to be called Info360. We're going to be talking about any type of information that's regarding surgeons, surgery, traveling, and anything else you can think of to do with the surgery process and your guide to metamorphosis. And last but not least, we're going to be doing Brazilian business lists. That's what we'll be doing our promotions. <clears throat> If you know me, you know I'm not greedy, and for me, it's purpose over profit, but I do understand there's a lot of small business surrounding in the surgery area. So if you're one of those small businesses that offer a service that can help the women and you want to uh, be promoted during our Brazilian business lift section or segment, excuse me, please go ahead and reach out to me and let's get let's get you on here, okay? Uh, so let's start out first with Chatter Tuck. What's happening in the surgery groups? The most popular thing right now that's happening is Dre Garcia again. She's going to be in the news. Her lead coordinator, um, known on Facebook as Wira Galvin, I know her as another name. She is a friendly face for me, was recently let go. I know it was kind of disguised as she left, but I actually spoke to Wira just to kind of see what was going on because so many women were reaching out to me. I didn't even, didn't even know. I didn't hear from her at first. I received information that she had left. And I know that she was one of the biggest coordinators for Dre Garcia. So I reached out to her. We did have a conversation. She did give tell me that there were some inside things going on. And she did not leave. She felt like she was forced out. Um, and I saw a lot of chatter in the group and some of the, the, the things that women were saying. 
I'm not here to make excuses for anybody or to take anybody's side one way or another. What I'm going to say is you have to understand that the positions that we have when you live in the States are much different than when you live in Mexico. People do what they have to do to survive. Does it make it right? No, it doesn't. But it's the reality of it. And at the end of the day, she's still a woman. So I would rather say nothing than to bash her. I see so many people bashing so many. I also saw the same thing happening with Zakia, which was another one of Dre Garcia's coordinators that left the group. And I just, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. We have to support one another, right? I get everybody doesn't make the right decisions and people do wrong things. But at the end of the day, who does it make us if we're joining in bashing them? It doesn't make it any better. You know, yes, were there are things that we we expect from people in this in this business to do? Definitely. Do we know that they're not being done? Definitely. And that's why I'm here to try and change that. We can't change the, the, the past, but we can change what happens moving forward. It was so much drama involved with the overscheduling and, you know, I don't know the situation, you know, because I wasn't there. But going off of the conversation I've had actually with Wira about how the coordinators were being treated and how they had to take their money and they were having to pay the surgeon and then to pay Karen, which is Dre Garcia's sister and um, manager, and having to pay other people. And I heard it was a, a bunch of over scheduling. I don't know what I know what the backlash was. I had a whole bunch of women calling me trying to reschedule their surgery date because they were a part of that mess. So, you know, I hope that they get the opportunity to get that straightened out. I don't know. I've never personally spoken to Karen. I've heard that she's very nasty. That's not something that I know though, because I haven't had that experience, but that's coming from you know, other people, you know, and not customers, more so coordinators. Like I said, I didn't have it. I don't know her personally. I don't know if that's true or not. But if it is, I will say you have got to treat people better. Like if you're going to run a business, you got to treat because it's, 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 it's not right. It's just being human. So hopefully they, they get that worked out and get that straightened out. So enough of that. This is drama. If you know me, you know, I hate drama and I wish it didn't exist, but it does. And I know you want to know about it because you can see it in the groups. Like I can see in the groups. So we're going to talk about it. Um, okay, let's talk about wasted. Well, what what to wear? Surgery. Let's talk about Fajas, right? Fajas is a popular thing and they give marvelous resort, results. The biggest struggle I see from people coming with results is they do not want to wear their Faja. You need to wear your Faja for many different reasons after surgery. The first thing is swelling. Inflammation is a madness. That faja will help to keep you compressed so that you can drain appropriately. Not only that, but it sculpts the body. The worst thing you can do is pay all this money to go and get your body done and get everything you need and then not wear your faja and then everything is just all over the place. It's so important because when they do things like Lipo 360, what they're doing is they're pulling fat apart. So now you got this fat just floating around. Put that faja on and shape it. You know, try and wear your faja a minimum of 90 days, minimum. But if you can wear it for six months, you'll have better results. I promise. Um, the next thing is lounging clothes. So after surgery, you're going to want to have comfortable clothes, obviously, to put on and off, especially if you have a drain. Those drains, oh my goodness gracious. I, I know they're annoying, but drains are important. Don't take your drains out early, but I'll come back to that in the next segment. Um, lounging clothes, make it something, get something easy. Maxi dresses are great. Um, yoga pants, something that's easy to slap on, slap off. Okay. Nothing too much. And I know you guys got those big old booties after that BBL, but wait to wear jeans. Okay. You don't want your butt pushed in like a, um, bell pepper. Okay. Don't do that. And, uh, ask, okay, so when traveling to the recovery home, ask our recovery home what's included. So you know what to take, what you need, okay? For my home, we supply almost everything. So everything, all you need is your hygiene products, some lounging clothes. This is only for exquisite. You have to, if you don't stay with exquisite, you have to ask the recovery home what's included. We have tummy tuck pillows. We have BBL pillows for use in the home. So if you bring your BBL pillow, it would be for you to travel home. Um, you're going to want to know, especially if the recovery home does not have tummy tuck pillows, if you're going to have a tummy tuck. 
I had a stomach tuck and muscle repair. Let me tell you, it is hard to get up from the abdomen. And if they don't have those pillows, I must suggest highly that you bring your own tummy tuck pillow. It is not the same as a regular pillow, okay? Because you're going to want to sleep partially reclined so that it makes it easier for you to kind of scoop and get out. And you don't want to be laying flat or up. So it's like a it positions you just right. And your surgeon will give you more information about that. But please, please, please make sure your recovery home has those pillows if you're going to have a tummy tuck, okay? Uh, let's visit the best augmentation. So there was some, it was a question that was posted on my YouTube channel. Actually, I think that's where I saw this at about airport transportation. We always talk about drama. I have a little drama of my own. So I used to, I used to actually offer airport transportation and, um, because of staffing issues, I had to let that service go. It was easier for me just to partner out with other people to do it. So currently I don't offer it. In the future, would I love to offer it? Absolutely, when people want to come back to work. But what I didn't want is to hear a complaint every time someone has to go pick someone up from the airport or not have enough people. So I just let it go. It was easier to do that. Uh, I do have referrals though. So if you want to stay with me and you're looking for um, airport transportation, I do have a very nice girl that I use on a regular basis that does that. I actually have two, but I use one more so for Metamoris. Um, because she's always busy, but I have a nice girl that I dedicate just for airport. There was another question about medical emergencies. So if you're in, if you're going, if the medical emergency is, this is my suggestion. Have a plan in place, right? Don't bring just enough money for surgery ever. Always expect the unexpected. You could need a blood transfusion. You could remember this is Mexico, so everything costs. Have a plan for ambulance, okay? In case of a medical emergency in the States. When I went to have my surgeries, I said, hey, in the event of a life-threatening emergency, I would like to be stabilized and transported back to the United States. Take me back on the side of the States where I have insurance to cover me so I don't end up with a $60,000 bill. So just have a plan. If you're in Brownsville, Brownsville is in the States. So you're, on, you're in the United States and you know that they have, it's a law. They have to do everything in their in their, I don't know, realm or what the words are, but to try, basically try to save your life. So whether you have insurance or not, whether you have money or not, if you're in the States, they're going to try to save your life. So that's just my suggestion, but you do you, boo. Um, so if you have any other questions or if you need me to elaborate, elaborate further on any of that information, make sure you reach out to me and I'll kind of go into more of that in my next video. And all right, so let's talk about Info 360, traveling, what you need to travel. Anytime you travel to Mexico by land, a passport is not required. You only need your original birth certificate and a driver's license or state issued ID. Going to some Metamoras, you can actually travel into Metamoras with just your driver's license or your ID. Now, I always say have the birth certificate because it's not going in. You can get in with nothing, but it's coming back to the United States that you need. Here's some important things. Do not try to cross into Mexico with drugs because there's a very high possibility that they might pull you over to search. They're not searching documents. They're searching cars and bags. And that's those are things they're looking for. If you travel with drugs and you get pulled over, you will go to the Mexican jail. There's no if, buts, ands about it. You cannot bargain. Don't do it. Coming back is where you need your documents because now you're coming back in the States. If you have a warrant for your arrest, do not cross because when you come back, you will go to jail. You're going to go to jail in Texas, I can guarantee. I have had a couple women that have come straight from surgery on the way back to the recovery home. They have gone to jail. Do not attempt to cross if you have a warrant. Take care of your warrant in the States before you do that because going in, you need nothing, but coming back, they're going to run it. Do not try to come back with drugs that are not prescribed to you. Because now you will go to jail in Texas because there's a very likely possibility that you could get pulled over to get searched. When they go through the car, if they find medication, they're gonna ask you for a prescription. If you have things that's not prescribed to you, mainly Percocet, Oxycodone, any type, don't do it, just don't do it, it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. Um, and last but not least, for the Brazilian business lift. So currently I just started um, Wasted Goddess. 
So I'm going to be having my very own Faja collections, waist trainers, and then these really, really cute, the legging waist trainers. If you've been following me, you know that I have, this has been in the making for a long time. I'm super duper duper anal about the quality and things like that. So it just took me a little bit longer than everybody else. I just don't rush your stuff. I like to take my time because what represents my name is important to me. So yeah, look for that. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are running out of time, but I appreciate you guys following me. Please like, subscribe, share the show. If it's anything you want to know or any type of information I can give you, get it down below and I'll try and get it in the next video. Thank you guys again so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and subscribe, and join my group. Check us out, Exquisite Dial House Texas, www.exquisitedialhouse.com. Thank you so much for joining. This is Let's Chat with your metamorphosis surgery guide, London Browse.